There's no better feeling than opening up a present. And in this video, I'm going to showcase how you can get every single free present in the Zero Chill promo of Madden 24. Now, Soul Soul Say family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this are having a great Saturday. And without further ado, let's get it started. Now, there are four different strategies you can use to pick up free presents in the Zero Chill program. And let's start it off with number one. Now, number one is by far the easiest. I could have my two-year-old cousin come in here and complete this. All you're doing is logging in on a daily basis basis as you can see in the zero chill tab of the field pass if we scroll on down to the daily mutt miss calendar you guys will see right here that for logging in for one day you get a zero chill mystery present when you log in for three days you get another zero chill present five days get you another then seven days is going to get you a mystery present so that's actually going to give you something better than those blue presents those blue presents are considered to be simple mystery presents the other ones are just mystery presents so they're better and then finally when you log in for 17 plus days you get a nice mystery present which is better than the simple ones there's kind of like tiers to it. So number one, log into Madden each day to complete your daily objective. That literally just involves clicking X on Ultimate Team and getting in. You don't even have to play a game or a solo. You just got to be an Ultimate Team. Number two, solo challenges. There are two sets of solos that are going to give you gifts in this game. But before we talk about those, it is Saturday, which means Sunday football is right around the corner. I can see it right around the corner. <laughs> and of course, with football being on tomorrow, you better believe I am making some picks over on Underdog Fantasy. I'll pop up one of my picks on the screen right here so you guys can see what I'm rocking with. Now with this pick, for example, We've got Garrett Wilson to get higher than four and a half receptions. We've got Almond Ross St. Brown to get higher than 73 and a half receiving yards and Jake Browning to throw lower than one and a half touchdowns. So one TD or less and we win that. And if we get those three picks correct, we will turn 50 bucks into $300. Of course, I'm going to be posting more picks for Sunday football. I'll post those on Twitter and I'll post them on my YouTube community tab on Thursday night football. Although it was a nasty game, we almost hit every single pick we posted. Unfortunately, Mitch Trubisky kind of screwed us over at the end, but I still ended up being up about $100 on Thursday, so that was a W. And if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, which is the place where I am making these picks, I will leave it linked down below in the description. As you are signing up, put in the promo code SWIFT because what that's going to do is it's going to get you a Dak Prescott special for Eagles Cowboys, which is going to be an awesome game. His line will be set to 0.5 passing yards. If you think he gets a yard in the game on Sunday Night Football and you use code SWIFT, you will get access to that line as well as get your first deposit matched up to $100. If you don't want to miss out, I will leave it linked down below in the description. Okay, now in terms of solo challenges, for free presents in this game. There are only two sets of solos that give you free presents. Not all these zero chill solos give you them. The ones that give you free presents are the Madden Express solos right here. So as you can see, at milestone reward number one, we get a simple mystery present. At tier number four, we get a mystery gift. At tier six, we get a mystery gift. This one is going to give you some presents. So you can play through those. I would recommend you do so. I've already completed them. Next up, I would also suggest frozen festivities. I have yet to play through all these. I'll probably get them done today or tomorrow. Uh, but at tier number one, you don't get a gift, unfortunately. At tier three, you get a simple mystery present. At tier five, you get a mystery gift. At tier eight, you get a nice mystery present. So I think there are more gifts located in the first set of solos I showed you, but ultimately, I'd recommend you play through both of them. It's 10 solos in each. I think the only challenge that was kind of annoying was this one right here to get full stars on it. Otherwise, everything was simple. Everything got completed on the first try. So I would definitely suggest you play through those solo challenges. Next up, let's talk about Field Pass. Field Pass is another way of getting free presents in this game. When we go to the zero chill field pass and we go to the rewards tab you guys will see at tier seven a free present right here a free simple mystery present as we keep on scrolling as we get to tier 20 or level 20 a mystery present as we keep on going right here another mystery present and as we keep on scrolling through the field pass i believe that's going to be it for gifts but that's a few gifts for free now if you're wondering swift how do i level up this field pass i made a video talking about that a couple days ago so i'm not really going to go in depth into that today but as you can see i'm already at level number 11 and i've done basically every single objective that i possibly can I haven't done all the sets, but otherwise, basically every objective I could possibly do has been completed, and it wasn't really that difficult to do so. If you guys want a video talking about how to do the field pass, I made that earlier. I'll leave it linked in the description. Not really going to go into details in that in this one, because that's kind of boring, and we've talked about it. But of course, prioritizing the field pass is the third way you guys can get free presents in this game. I would say the field pass is pretty easy to complete. Now, next up, let's talk about the snowflake offers, because as you can see right here, when we scroll on over to the right, you guys will see with snowflakes, I can get a mystery present. I can get a nice present. I can get a lavish present, which is going to be like the best gifts in this game, or I can get a simple present. And honestly, there's not many ways to get snowflakes right now. I feel like the only ways you get them are really from like the field pass and solo challenges. Those are going to give you snowflakes for free. A lot 
lot of people are asking, Swift, how do I get snowflakes? I think there's more ways coming soon on Thursday. Because when EA Sports revealed Zero Chill, they said there would be a house rules event and they said there would be a head to head event and those would be coming out on Thursday. I would be shocked if the head to head event didn't give you a ton of snowflakes if you win a Super Bowl. I think it's going to be similar to Most Feared. If you guys remember Most Feared, there were treats you guys could earn by playing the head to head event and you would get a fairly significant number of them if you won a Super Bowl. It was like 25,000 treats. That would give you 25 mystery presents if you wanted to open this up right here. So I think we got to be a little bit patient with our snowflakes. For me, I'm not going to be spending any of them today. I'm not going to be spending any of them until Thursday. I'm not going to lie because I want to see how easy it is to get snowflakes. If it's really easy to get them, then sure, I'll blow them on mystery presents. But if it's a little more harder, I'll probably be a little more strategic. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. So me personally, I'm kind of waiting for more ways of getting snowflakes. That will be presented to us fairly soon, not super soon, but fairly soon. And ultimately, once that comes around, then we'll be able to get more for free. Then we'll be able to get more presents. This will be uh, the best way to get presents. I'm not going to lie because yeah, you can pick up one or two from the field pass. Yeah, you can pick up a few from logging in every day. Yeah, you can pick up like five or six from playing solo challenges, but you can get like 30 to 50 to 70 from being able to pick up snowflakes. So we'll see how that works out in the future. I don't think it's going to be too, too hard to get them in the background right here. We do have a couple free mystery presents to open up. So let's rip these and you guys can see how these presents work. So yeah, we'll start by opening up our simple mystery presents. And once you open these packs up, the packs are just going to stay as a pack. See right here, I actually just got another pack in my binder. Now what you can do with this pack is number one, you can quick sell it or number two, you can keep the present in your binder. If you want to keep the present in your binder, you literally just click O to back out and then it's going to just stay in your unopened packs right here. As you can see, it's all the way on over at the right. So we'll open up these simple mystery presents and then we'll open up the mystery gifts. The mystery gifts are going to be the more fun ones. We got a simple mystery right here, quick selling for 240 snowflakes. If I wanted to, I could quick sell that, but it's not worth it because if you guys look at the store and the snowflake store, I believe it's 300 snowflakes to open up one of these packs and you're going to get 240 back in return. So it's not worth opening. Now, the mystery packs are a little bit of a different situation because you can get a good card. You can get a bad card. We've got a couple to open up right here. Let's see what we can pull. Hopefully we get a big one. The way you know how good the present is, is by how many snowflakes it's going to quick sell for. So right here, we got a simple one. That's the worst you can get, right? That quick sells for 230 snowflakes. But as you can see, I've got a nice present right here. This would quick sell for 880. So that means we're probably going to get something a little bit better out of that. We got one more mystery pack to open up. Can we get something nice? We're really just going off the snowflake number. Hey, we get a nice one. That, that's not that bad. It's not amazing. It's not a lavish, but it's not bad. And I'm definitely going to go through and make a full video, like talking about the most expensive presents in this game, kind of outlining any of the gifts that we know of as we pull an 86 overall right here. Not too shabby, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video showcasing how you get all these presents in Madden. It's not really that difficult, but there are different things you can follow. And just to recap them, number one, log in every single day. Number two, play the two sets of solos I talked about. Those are the only two you got to play to get free presents. Number three, focus on your field pass. I would recommend you try and get every single objective done. It's not that difficult to get done basically every single objective in the game. So I'd recommend you take a peek at that right there. And then number four, if you guys have snowflakes, you can spend some of them today. Although me personally, I am going to be waiting because there are going to be more ways of getting snowflakes in the game. And those methods will be revealed to us fairly soon on Thursday. Uh, so we'll kind of wait and see how that works out as in the background. We open up a touchdown pack, pull an 86, pull an 87. And that's going to do it for me. If you guys want to check out Underdog, it's linked in the description. Have a great weekend. I'm out. Peace.